This is Brother Ron, and welcome to We All Be News Radio and TV, the news free Dixie for the 21st century. family. I'm ground zero on our black Holocaust incidents in our American story. This is Brother Ron Hurd reporting live from the Oakland Cemetery in the heart of downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are in the powder field section of where it is believed that the victims of one of the worst race massacres in American history are buried. Their final resting place of their mortal remains. Um, I'm talking about the Black Wall Street Race Massacre of 1921, which happened May 31st to June 1st in Tulsa, Oklahoma, in the Black Wall Street area of town. Prosperous black community, black owned businesses and whatnot. Uh, a mob of white folk burned it down to the ground. It is believed that over hundreds of black folks were massacred, lynched, and also thousands were left homeless as well. So right now I'm in the Potter's Field where allegedly Many of these victims are buried, but we are also among two that were recognized from that massacre. Two of our righteous ancestors, Reuben Everett and also Eddie Lockhart. Like I said, family, let's come to Tulsa. The centennial, May 31st to June 1st of 2021, will acknowledge the sacrifices of our righteous ancestors. But if we don't tell their stories, the righteous ancestors get no glory. So this is why I'm here with me and my sister. Mo Thomas, also known as Cindy, and we are here to pay our tribute and homage to our ancestors. They want to encourage you all out there to go on these journeys. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Go back to the roots, go back to the ancestors. They are waiting for us to tell their story. So before we get started with the tribute, for libations, for those remember and forgotten, unsung, as well as celebrated. Knowing the words of the Mortal Duke Ellington, we love you back. And also, it should be interesting to note as well, there's a, a very powerful, majestic tree growing from this part of field. And I believe it's been um, fertilized by the remains of our righteous ancestors. And like this tree, we must use their stories and sacrifices to grow our future as well to be as bright, strong, as well as resilient. So take note, family. So this is my humble tribute. Gotta toot my horn, I'm gonna toot my horn, I'm tooting their horn as well. Thank you. 
minutes. Everybody, this is Brother Ron. I am asking you all to do me a big favor. Think about supporting the We All Be movement. Your donation is tax deductible. The We All Be Group Incorporated is a recognized 501c3. And I'm just asking you all because I want to keep on bringing y'all quality work uh, through the way that I know how to do best. And uh, I'm going to sing my praises and toot my horn. A lot of y'all would not help to dig Gregory until Brother Ron brought him on the We All Be platform, until that Django review we did. Y'all seen another side of Judge Joe Brown, and Judge Joe Brown's message has been amplified. But it was We All Be that brought Judge Joe Brown to y'all back in 2014. And so many others. And we covered so many things. So help us out so we can help you all. Peace.